Speaking of martial arts China, we surely will think about Kung Fu. Currently, there are two major styles of Kung Fu which is famous in Chinese society. These two schools are distinguished by their regional origin, namely Northern and Southern Kung Fu. The Yang Tzu River that divides the land is the boundary between the two different styles of fighting. The first school is known as Northern Kung Fu and the other is called Southern Kung Fu. Wushu is an icon of the Northern Kung Fu. Northern Kung Fu tends to rely on kicks when fighting. This is due to the tall posture of the Northern warriors and the strength of the well-trained legs. This strength is due to their frequent riding which causes kicking techniques to be very likely to be developed. The hard, barren, and arid northern lands allow martial arts practitioners to develop spectacular high kicking techniques. We find many such kicking techniques in northern martial arts school, such as Wushu and Thifan Pokan. Wing Chun Kung Fu in the South Unlike the condition in the north, those who live in the south rely more on hand punches because in the south the ground is slippery, wet, and muddy. Therefore, they practice blows on a wooden status or other hard objects. While the kicks in the southern kung fu are mostly directed in the lower part of the opponent's body such as the legs, teeth, thigh, or waist, it's no wonder that the warriors in the south do more punches than kicks. Examples of the martial arts from the south include Wing Chun and Hungar.